Hi everyone, my name is Olayinka Yeni from Bego Consult. Today we're going to be talking about auto-scaling group. How do we create auto-scaling and what is auto-scaling? So auto-scaling is like a process of uh, adding additional resource, adding additional services needed. Sometimes you have five servers running and uh, during peak hours you want the uh you want your servers to scale up maybe to like 15 servers so it has to accommodate the traffic that um, i mean that you're experiencing in your application you can either scale in or scale out in auto scaling group and i'm going to show you the process of how to set up auto scaling group in amazon aws first and first you need to create an ami but you might not do that but you need to have a golden image because that is the image that we're going to create our auto scaling group from so how do you access auto scaling group you you click on services then you type ec2 okay auto scaling is under elastic computing on the left hand side you scroll all the way down you see launch auto scaling there's a lot there's something called launch configuration and there's something called auto, auto scaling group your auto scaling group is going to run with your launch configuration so you can do it either way you can create a launch configuration first then attach the launch configuration to your auto scaling group or you can create your auto scaling group in the process you'll be required to create what is called a launch configuration so for this class we're going to start with creating auto scaling group i'm going to click on that Presently, we don't have any auto scaling group running, so you have to do what is called create an auto scaling group. You need to give your auto scaling group a name. I'm going to name that Bego, which is test. We we just tested it out. You have two options. You can you can either create your auto scaling group from launch templates or from launch configuration. So how for this class, we're going to create auto scaling group using launch configuration. So I'm going to switch to launch configuration present so you are going to scroll uh, press this dub, drop down button but presently we don't have any launch configuration configured so what do we do we click on create a launch configuration we need a launch configuration to create an auto scaling group one i'm going to click on launch configuration is going to pop out in another group in another uh, tab so let us set up our launch configuration i'm going to give it a name same bego consult dash test you're going to choose from the ami this is the ami that 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 the launch configuration is going to attach to whichever instance it's uh, uh um is trying to run so you have you can choose you customize AMI or you can get an AMI from Amazon Marketplace. But always choose from your own customized AMI because all your applications is running from that AMI. You've installed your antivirus, you've installed all your security component, and you installed all your application that is needed for your organization to function. So that is where you create your golden AMI from. And I'm going to um, choose my AMI and uh, C. So I'm going to choose auto scaling group because that is the name of my AMI. And the next thing is to choose your instance type. This is just the same process as creating an EC2 instance. Please, you can watch my previous video on how to create EC2 instance because you need to have that understanding and that idea in order to create a successful launch configuration. Now we're going to choose the the instance type remember we are running on a free amazon web service tier so you have to look for what is called t2 micro okay t2 micro is is free and which has one vcpu and one memory so i'm going to search, search for the t2 micro in the, in the size section select it then click and choose you have different additional configuration which are optional you can also attach IAM instance profile to your AMI, but we are not doing that for now. You can enable monitoring and you can also 
enable what is called EBS opt uh, optimized instance. And whenever you see advanced detail, please always click on it just to see what is in there. So you can add anything you want, especially the user data. If you want to configure your, your launch configuration with some specific type of user data, this is where to put it in. But we don't need a user data because everything has been done before we create our AMI image. So we don't need any EC2 user data for now. An IP address type, only assign a public IP address. We are going to go with the, with the default because we are still running on Amazon default VPC. So let's choose the first one. And we have the storage section. The, if you want to add additional storage to your launch configuration, this, this is the time to, to click on it. But if you just want to do, do this for a practice, just leave it as the 8 gig EBS volume. Security group. This is very, very important. You need to create a security group for your launch configuration. It is still the same process as creating your EC2 instance. You need a security group in order to create a security um, EC2 instance because you want to give it some type of security and some type of rule. I'm going to create a new rule, okay, because I'm just going to put Vega Consult, okay, test. You can either add a description or not, okay, security group, um, group for for auto scaling launch configuration. And this, I'm deploying Apache Web Services on my Linux, Amazon Linux 2 AMI. So I'm going to need my port, port 22 open, and also I'm going to need a port 80, okay? You can put port 80 or port 443, but I'm just going to do port 80 because I don't have a certificate for that right now. So put SSH from anywhere. This is not the best practice, but for this test, for this exercise, we are just going to leave SSH from anywhere. This SSH port 22 will enable you to log into your Linux AMI using either Podi or Teratam. And this uh, port 80 will allow user to connect to your website to your Apache web services using port 80. So I have those two rules in my new rules. Then the uh, the next, you're gonna choose a key pair to this is a key in logging into your server. Remember, it is still the same process as you're creating your EC2 instance, but this one you're just adding this to a launch configuration. So I'm gonna choose an existing key pair, but you have the option to choose a new key pair to create a new key pair. So I'm just gonna do it very consult test. If you're choosing one, then you click on download key pair. You must download this key pair because you are going to, it's going to be needed to uh, in logging into your EC2 instance. Okay, everything has been checked all right. Then you click on create launch configuration. Okay, this is the baseline of your type of servers, the type of image that is going to be deployed in this particular auto scaling group. Now we've created our launch configuration, then we can now go back to, to our auto scaling group. Then we can now click on refresh, then attach the launch configuration group to this auto scaling group. Okay, remember your auto scaling group need either a launch configuration or a launch template, but this section is for the launch configuration. The network section is on the next section. We are running on our default VPC and choose all the subnet available because we did not specify which subnet we want our auto scaling, our launch configuration to be attached to anyway. So just, just choose all this. Then click on next. Load balancer. You can also put your auto scaling group behind a load balancer. And that is exactly what we are going to do. We want to put our auto scaling group behind a 
load balancer so that a load balancer will know that hey I am attached to a target group and whatnot so click on enable load balancer but guess what your auto scaling group does not even know if any load balancer exists anyway so the only thing that auto scaling group is concerned about is the target group because you're going to attach your target group to the load balancer so for now I'm going to do everything from the scratch so let's create a new target group having in mind that we don't have anything in this drop down we're going to create a new target group target group is uh, um, um, it's it's like a group that we're going to attach all the servers that is coming from the auto scaling group is going to automatically register themselves to this target group so we have so in this section we're talking about three different things target group load balancer auto scaling group and launch configuration so i want you to pay attention to this so this is the instance okay uh, um, target group name i'm gonna do a uh, bagel console the test and i'm going to be a little bit fast because i don't want this video to be more than uh 19 minute tops so uh protocol is is um, is HTTP 80 L check optional and leave leave all these as optional then click on next okay we I currently have two instance running but please do not attach any instance because we want the process to be automatic okay those are my two instances that are currently running without auto scaling group so I created my new target group which is called bagelconsult.test so I'm going to go back and click on refresh then attach the bagelconsult.test target group to, to my auto scaling group. L checks optional you always want your L check to be directly to your EC2 instance. L check grace period the default is 300 100 seconds but depending on your organization uh, um, um, requirement this can be changed okay so then just just click on next how many servers do you want okay this is where you put in the the minimum server and the maximum server let's say you want five servers to be running all the time then this is where you put five as the minimum server and you want it to scale to 10 servers in case you guys are having lots of traffic so the the so for the for this section i'm going to put the minimum as one server and the maximum as two servers okay so for now i want one server to be constantly running and i want it to scale to um to two servers depending on this next section which is called a scaling policies what is going to trigger additional server to spin up okay this is where you set up i mean the trigger mechanism so this is target tracking scaling policy there has to be a policy what event is expected to happen for another server to spin up okay and uh i'm going to choose the average cpu you um utilization and, and i'm going to put it at 50 percent this means that if your cpu is running above 50 percent i want you to spin up additional servers okay that is it and uh, instance need 300 seconds this is the time that you feel that is needed for your instance to to warm up okay so then you click on next this way you can add notification to either sns or or email address but for now we are not going to add anything then click on next you can also add tags but we won't do that then click on next and this is the overall review of what we've been doing so far so now you can create auto scaling group okay so this is our auto scaling group and uh, it will show us we have one instance running and also to see what is going on you can click on activity this will show you what is currently happening in your EC2, uh, um, in your AWS 
environment. So I hope I'm, um, I'm able to explain some things. In my next video, I'm going to tell you how to attach your load balancer to the target group. Thank you.